Welcome to another Sunday episode of Lex's World, guys. No matter how good of a grower you are, you should be cleaning out and disinfecting your hydroponic system at the end of every cycle to prevent things like clogs, algae, fungus, or root rot. Especially if your water temperature is frequently above 72 Fahrenheit when you're growing. Today on the show I'll tell you how to do a proper end of cycle clean out without having to move your whole system around. This is just one method of doing it that I like. Now you'll need hydrogen peroxide, also known as H2O2. Avoid using the 3% hydrogen peroxide that they sell in drugstores. What you want is the 35% concentration that's found in hydroponic stores. It's a more stable, cleaner product. The 35% H2O2 is bad for your skin, so wear gloves. Once your system is empty of plants, here's what you do. First, use a cloth and a spray bottle filled with water to wipe down all of the heavy residue and leftover roots off, off of your reservoir and the rest of your hydro system. Give it a really good wipe down. Then, refill your system with fresh water and let the water sit for an hour. Next, you add your 35% hydrogen peroxide to the water. You only need to add 3 milliliters of it for every gallon of water that you have. That means if you went with a 3% H2O2, you'll need to add about 30 milliliters of it per gallon. Now that, the t that this diluted solution of water and H2O2 is in your system, run all of your water pumps and air stones for at least four hours. You want this mixture to get into everything. Run all your stuff aggressively or even continuously if your system can handle it. Next, you drain everything. And finally, you rinse. That's your main clean-out procedure. It's also recommended that you soak all of your misters, air stones, sprayers, measuring cups, syringes, and so forth in the same diluted H2O2 solution for a few hours, then rinse them out. You should also soak any measuring devices and meters in rubbing alcohol. Once you've done all that, you can refill your system with fresh water and start your next grow. Now a final note about this guys. A lot of people work bleach into this process somehow. I recommend against using bleach. Bleach is bad for your plants and any residue of it that you might leave behind is not a good thing. So it's best not to use it in the first place. Well guys, that's the show. Hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button below.